is this a Nimoda Translate Ayurana as pieces. Hmm? Six pieces. The meaning of a real Ayurana meaning is it is extending, hmm? extending the cognitive process to raise money. Uh, enlarging, hmm? enlarging the cognitive process to make more. How they enlarge? If you have eye, when you see color, then if you like this color, you will enlarge your cognitive process with smiling face. Oh, very good, very good, very good, very good. <laughs> if you don't like, oh, I don't like, I don't like, I don't like. Many cognitive process will rise successfully because of eye. Is it true? Mm -hmm. So they are enlarged. Huh? <coughs> they enlarge. So many meditators usually they criticize me, who that never teach to contemplate materiality in detail. Who that never mentioned in sutras to contemplate materiality in detail. They criticize me too much. <laughs> <laughs> today, today is one so that this is also Mahasri Brana so that in Mahasri Brana so that Buddha explain this session. Hmm? Please listen. Chakonja Bajana di Ubeja Bajana di Yinja to do beyond Badecha Ubeja di Sayojana Tinja Bajana di. Yadhaja no banasa sayojanasa ubado ho di denja bhajana di. Yadhaja o banasa sayojanasa bahana ho di denja bhajana di. Yadhaja bhinasa sayojanasa ayade no bado ho di denja bhajana di. This is only one couple. I see the DVD in Kala only. What is the meaning? Because Again, a big who contemplate Dhamma objects as Dhamma objects in terms of six internal sense pieces in external sense pieces. How does a big who contemplate Dhamma objects as Dhamma objects in terms of six internal and external pieces? Sense pieces. Hmm? In this Buddha's dispensation, a bhikkhu understands the eye or eye sensitivity. He understands the visible object or colors. Yeah. Visible objects or colors. He also understands the pattern which arises depending on both. both I sensitivity in colors. Hmm? He also hmm. understands how they arise to be the no re, uh, the rising of patterns which not yet risen, or which not uh, which the rise. He also understands how they are comes to be the rising of unreason patterns. He also understands how they are comes to be. <coughs> 
the abandoning of reason for dust. He also understands how there comes to be the non future rising of abandoned patterns. So, to be the more I'm sensitivity in color, both that taught these six sentences. Number one is Chakongja Pajanadi. If you could understand the I'm sensitivity or I'm transparent element. Number two is Rubei Jat Bajanadi. If you could understand visible objects or colors. So, Buddha is hard to understand I'm sensitivity. How he should try to understand or to see I'm sensitivity, I'm transparent element. How he should practice? This is one type of materiality only. What is an transparent element? What is an sensitivity? How you should discern this an sensitivity? So Buddha teach to discern or to try to understand an sensitivity. According to Buddha's teaching, an sensitivity or an transparent element rise as kalapa. To see this club, how you should practice? Four elements meditation, this is necessary. Without practicing four elements meditation systematically, one cannot understand, and one cannot understand, one cannot see clubbers, and one cannot analyze clubbers, and one cannot understand ultimate, true ultimate materiality, including and sensitivity. So you must try four elements meditation systematically. When you practice four elements meditation systematically, when your concentration develops further, you will see the whole body begin transparent like ice block. And that ice block, if you can discern four elements, then very soon you will see glabas. If you do not see glabas, then you should try to see space. Then you will see glabas. At that time, the whole body is a group of clubbers. You will understand the whole body is composed with small clubbers. They call these clubbers as particles. Hmm? At that time, please pay attention to your eyeball. If you see your eyeball, or then it is at that time you should again pay attention for elements in your eyeball. Then very soon when your concentration develops further, you will not see eyeball, you will see only a group of Calabas, small body gas only. At the day, in your eye, there are two types of calabas. Number one is transparent calabas. Number two is opaque calabas. Two types. You should analyze one transparent calaba. <coughs> in that transparent calaba, there are ten types of materiality. Art element, water element, fire element, wind element, color, odor, flavor, nutritive essence, light faculty, and insensitivity, or maybe transparent element. But in the eye, there are two types of transparent elements. Number one is <coughs> eye transparent element, number two is body transparent element. Eye consciousness arises depending on eye transparent element. Body consciousness arises depending on body transparent element. When you open your eye and then if you look at anything, you can see color. So eye consciousness also arises depending on eye transparent element. In the eye, there is also eye consciousness. Hmm? Eye consciousness arises on eye transparent sensitivity. Another is if you touch your eye, can you feel touching sensation? So if you touch your eye, then you can also feel touching sensation, tangible objects, whether it is hot or not, uh, hot, hot or not, or supporting or pushing, hmm? you can feel. So because of this, there is also body transparent element. How you should differentiate?
these two. They are very small clubs, small particles. How you should differentiate? This is untransparent sensitivity. This is body transparent sensitivity. How you, got, you can differentiate? No Buddha instead. You must understand untransparent sensitivity. How you should differentiate? This is very important in detail. Hmm? Then, please discern one transparent color bar. Then please analyze. You should try to discern 10 types of materiality, including transparent element. You should discern the transparent element again. Then please pay attention a little bit far away. There are maybe the whole body, there are many small body gas. A group of small body gas color, you must pay attention. In each part, there is always color. That color, you must pay attention. Quite a little bit far away. Please try. I want to show you one example. Can you see my hand, my eye? Can you see? Yes. yes. No, no. Please, please do like that. <laughs> no one can see your finger or not. No. No, no. no, because there is no space between object and subject. Hmm? Between object and subject, there is no space. This is one reason. If there is no space, there is no light. If there is no light, you cannot see. Light is one cause hmm? to see color. In the dark, can you see? No. No. Your eye is powerless. What is powerless? Maybe part charge in this guy, when they are flying in this guy, maybe one yojana. One yojana is maybe more than 10 miles, maybe. Hmm? They are maybe strong cocks. They can see from this guy, very far away, 10 miles. They can see this cox. Can you see this cox 10 miles far away? <laughs> so your eye is not powerful. In the same way, cats. Hmm? In the night, they can see mouse. <laughs> they can catch. Can you see? In the dark. But so your eye is no power. <coughs> there is light after that only you can see. So, if it is very close, eye consciousness cannot arise. Little bit far away, after that only eye consciousness arise. But one color vast color is not the object of unconsciousness. Because in this soda, also in different sodas, go that dot. Chakong chak pa janadi, rube chak pa janadi. Chakong chak, according to Bali language, chakong chak is singular form. Rube chak pa janadi, rube, this is plural form. One put that dot in the base. Only one. In the object, there are many. How find for that dot? Because many, a group of us, Kalabas, Kala only can be the object of unconsciousness. No one Kalabas. One Kalabas can be seen by mind or mind consciousness. What? According to your own uh, and yeah, inside knowledge. That inside knowledge, uh, mind or community process can understand one Kalabas, Kala. So because of this reason, you should pay attention to a group of small body gas color. When this color impinge this untransparent element, then that transparent element, then we can say this transparent element is untransparent element or unsensitivity or unbased. Same. Hmm? So other than only you will understand this is unbased. So to understand this, uh, this, to understand this I'm based, how you should practice? You must practice four elements meditation. But for those who had already practiced jhanas, who, uh, who already attained jhanas, in every sitting they should try to re-enter one jhana. One jhana means if they prefer four jhana, four jhana is very good. Hmm? In every sitting they should try four jhana. Which four jhana? They can do according to their own desire. Some meditators like white casino, fourth channel. Some meditators like light casino, fourth channel. Some meditators like anabana, fourth channel. 
and you need they can do every city. Based on this channel, coming up from this channel, hmm, then you should take some four elements, four elements is medically. Then, when your concentration develops further, you will see this club bus. And then, again, please analyze this club bus. Then, other than you will see eye sensitivity. Whether this is eye sensitivity or not, if you want to test, then you should find a group of small body gas color. When this color impedes this transparent element, then it will be eye transparent element. But when this color do not impinge, does not these colors do not impinge this eye transparent element, uh, uh, transparent element, then this transparent element is not eye transparent element. It will be body transparent element only. Because there are two color, two types of color which are transparent. So, because of this reason, you should again and again test. Hmm? If it is not, colors do not impinge this transparent element, then you should try another color bar. Please analyze that another color bar. Why? There are many transparent color bars. And transparent color bars also many. Body transparent color bars also many. Among this many, Depending on which transparent element eye consciousness has, only one transparent element. Because of this reason, in the base, Buddha taught, Chakong Japa Janadi, only singular form. Hmm? But in the case of object, Buddha taught, Rube Japa Janadi, plural form. Different types of colors. So because of this reason, one transparent element, one transparent eye sensitivity is enough as a base for, uh, to produce eye consciousness as a base. So you should try to design this eye transparent sensitivity. But uh, without designing eye transparent sensitivity, if you understand eye transparent element, then it is not yet enough. Bajanadi, Chakongja Bajanadi, he understands eye sensitivity. Here the meaning is, you must try to understand the characteristic function, manifestation and proximity cause of this untransparent element. It is silly characteristic function, manifestation and proximity cause. What is it is silly characteristic? Rumba bi gadara ha buddha basada lekana chaku. This is one meaning. What is the meaning? There is transparency of four elements which are ready for impingement of colors. This is one type of silly characteristic of untransparent element. So here you can see transparent element. Of which transparent? Maybe, there maybe you may say, you can see, oh, this is transparent. What is this? Oh, this is glass. Glass is transparent. There must be one object, hmm? one face, which is transparent. Oh, this is very transparent. What is transparent? Water is very transparent. Oh, there must be water, there must be glass. In the same way, here transparent. What is transparent? Of which transparent? Trans transparent is what? Transparency of four elements only. Within same clapper, not different clapper. Within same clapper, transparency is four elements transparency only. But this four elements transparency is ready for the impingement of Color. Okay? It is one type of silly characteristic of untransparent element, unsensitivity. You should try to understand this silly characteristic or intrinsic characteristic. Hmm? The nana is function. What is the uh, another characteristic there? Tatu gamma dani dana gamma smooth hana buddha sada lekrana Oh, 
What is the meaning? In previous life, like, you had accumulated one type of host, one type of face or craving. What is craving? Craving for seeing colors. What color? You may have different intention. This is the binet origination. You must try to understand the binet origination. Okay. Oh, you should try to decide first causes. Hmm? Slowly, please decide. Adime mental adime mentally slowly progress. Abdu near that moment in previous life. There may be one type of object. It does not that process cognitive process time. Hmm? It does not that there is one object is appear in your mind. mind. There may be one type of object, maybe any object is possible for whose one to mark. Hmm? So, for example, if you are offering flowers to the Buddha or to the Didiya, then if you wish for to be a layman or woman, and then, then if you understand this is man or this is woman, this is wrong understanding. Wrong understanding is called ignorance. Why is this wrong understanding? According to Buddha's teaching, man, there is no man, there is no woman. If you discern four elements systematically, you can see ultimate mentality and materiality only. If you understand ultimate mentality and materiality, this is okay, right understanding. But if you understand this is man, this is woman, this is wrong understanding only. Based on this wrong understanding or ignorance, you you have attachment to the male life or woman life. That attachment is called craving. But repeat that attachment is also called clinging. You have attachment not only one day, but repeatedly you may have attachment to that male life or woman's life. So, depending on this ignorance, craving, clinging, you accumulate offering flowers to the Buddha. That Buddha image object also may appear, or flower object also may appear. This is a whole center mass. When you are offering flowers to the Buddha, and that the whole center mass rise, these whole center mass are called volitional formations. But they are nature and by many, as soon as they rise, they pass away. But they left behind the karmic force, which can produce high aggregates. These five aggregates, yeah, according to your own wish, we can say men, uh, five aggregate of a man or five aggregate of a woman. Hmm? These five aggregates <coughs> are ultimate validity, but <coughs> you have wrong perception. This is man, this is a woman, and this way you have wrong perception because of ignorance. At that time, if we analyze these five aggregates, yes, Kala. You may have attachment to that man's color also. If you analyze this man body, there is also color. You may have attachment to that color. Or if you analyze woman's body, there is also color. You may have attachment to color. Why? Some people, they have sexual attachment to their body. So they want to be very beautiful. Is it true? <laughs> huh? They don't want to be ugly persons. <laughs> so if they, if they become men or women, they want to be beautiful. It's be beautiful beauty, huh? beautiness of color. Skin color must be beautiful, not black color. Is it true? <laughs> Do you want black color? No. <laughs> Very beautiful color you want. Hmm? So because of this reason, that such type of attachment is still present. With such intention, you accumulate that whole center mass. Because of this whole center mass, these five aggregates appear. Among these five aggregates, there is also color. If you have attachment, five aggregates, or men like or women like, we can say you also have attachment to the color also. So, because of the previous whole center mass, four elements arise in your eye. <coughs> Among these four elements, four, these four elements, 
there is transparency of these four elements. Hmm? These four elements appear here because of the Hoson Kamba. That Hoson Kamba based on craving or ignorance craving in Klingon. Based on ignorance craving in Klingon, this Hoson Kamba arises. Because of this Hoson Kamba, here arise four elements. Transparency of these four elements is called insensitivity, which is ready for the impingement of color. So in this case, if you understand, oh, these four elements are produced by previous karma, which karma is based on craving. Based on craving, you accumulate that wholesome karma. Because of this wholesome karma here, Four elements arise. The transparency of these four elements is called insensitivity. If you understand in this way, we can say now you understand intrinsic nature of characteristic of untransparency or silly characteristic of untransparency. We can say at that time only. So, Chakong Japa Janadi, you should try to understand Chaku. This is only characteristic. What is it is function? Rupa Yesu Awe Chana Rasa. It brings this eye transparency, brings your cognitive and cognitive process to the color object. Oh, please see, please see, please see. Oh, you have eye. Because of this reason, you are eye can color the object. The whole cognitive process which understand color arise depending on eye phase. Is it true? Yes. So because of this reason, it creates, it brings you have got into cognitive process and eh? mind cognitive process as well to the color object. So this is it is function. You should also try to understand this function. The another is manifestation. Chaku Vinyana Sa Adhara Bhava Pichu It is the base for the eye consciousness in its associated mental pedas. How many mental pedas? There are seven. Conduct, feeling, perception, volition, one point directness, life faculty, and attention. Together with eye consciousness, there are eight. Medial pedas. These medial pedas arise depending on eye base. So, when you are designing eye base or eye sensitivity, you will see, oh, this is the base for the eye consciousness in its associated medial formations. After that, you will understand. But, you cannot design eye consciousness. You can notice that it associated mental formations. How will you understand? Is it possible? Yes, so you must also understand an uncognitive process, including unconsciousness in its associated mental formations. And that, that only you will understand. Oh, unconsciousness rise to be on this unsensitivity. And that, that only you will understand. This manifestation. What is browsing may cause? Dhatu gamma dhani dhana gamma jambu dhapa dhatana Say, hmm? Why this untransparency appear? The browsing may cause is four elements within St. Clabba. These four elements are browsing may cause. But these four problems Four elements are produced by pre previous karma, which is based on craving for color. So to see color, you accumulate that Hoson Kamas, Hoson Kamas. Because of this Hoson Kama, four elements arise here. The four elements, transparency is the transparency of four elements only. And transparency is the transparency of four elements only. 
if there is no four elements, then we cannot say there is transparent. We cannot say. If there is no glass, oh, uh, this is very transparent. How we can say because there is no glass? If there is no water, how we can say there is uh, uh, there is transparent? So there must be one type of space. That space is called four elements only. So in this way, you should try to understand. I, other than that, I I say to very Jacobusara. Other than only we can say you understand. B I sensitivity. In the same way, in blue line from both that dot. Rubai chapa chadadi. You must try to understand rubak colors or visible objects. If you practice four elements meditation, one day you will see kalabas. Every kalaba has color. This color you should try to understand, to see. But if you see color, then you should also try to discern again. It is silly characteristic function, manifestation, and proximity cause. Okay. What is in this silly characteristic? Jaku Badi Hanana Lakana Ruba. Kala is ready for impeachment of eye sensitivity. That this is it is characteristic. If you want to understand this characteristic, then please listen here. Eye sensitivity, eye transparent element. Number one, you must already understand. Eye transparent and transparent element or eye sensitivity. Secondly, you should pay addition a group of small particles color. When this color impinge and transparent sensitivity, then other than you will understand. Oh, this color is ready for the impingement of eye transparent sensitivity. Other than that, only you will understand the characteristic of colors. Then what is it is function? It is function is <coughs> Rupa Mata Ramana Rasa. Sorry, sorry. Jaku Wenyanasa Wisya Bhava Rasa. <coughs> it is only just the object of Jaku Wenyana and its associated mental formations only. If you want to understand this fashion, <coughs> how you should practice? <laughs> you must try, you must test idol and sensitivity. Mind you, point out. Then please pay attention to a group of small body guys. The, this color will impinge both those simultaneously. Simultaneously. And then the endocognitive will arise. Among this endocognitive process, number second, mind moment is unconsciousness and eh? associated mental formations. And then the, you will understand. Eye consciousness and associated mental formations arise depending on eye sensitivity. Other than only you will understand. But when the eye consciousness take which object? Eye consciousness arise taking color as object. Other than only you will understand. Or oh, this color is the object of eye consciousness. Other than only you will understand. Another is that see what Gochara Pichu Patana manifestation. What is Gochara? It is the result of unconsciousness and eh? its associated mental formations. So the object and result, what is the difference? Unconsciousness knows only color, this is object. But unconsciousness, whenever it arises, always it knows color only. Except color, it knows nothing. So this is called result. In Pali, it is called Gochara. Gochara means pasturing, pasturing place. Now here, one rabbit. Again, again, he is eating this grass. This is his pasture. <laughs> so, in the same way, unconsciousness, unconsciousness, whenever it arises, it takes only color only, not except color, it do nothing. 
It's same color, it never take any other object. So this is, color is his first charity. It is first charity place. So it is called resort hmm? or field. Hmm? Yeah. Mm. Then what is manifest uh, cause? Color cannot rise low. Color always rise with as a small particle. Hmm? Color bar. Among these color bars, always in each color bar, there are four elements. These four elements are pro proximal cause of color. Why? Color of which color? Oh, this is my rock's color. This is his rock's color. This is her rock's color. There must be one type of element which base for which which is the base for color. So there must be one type of article. Hmm? <coughs> In the same way, color of which color? Color is nothing but four elements color only. <laughs> so because of this reason, if you see color, then what is color? Color is only four elements color only. But th there are many four elements, many color but within same color but only. So at that time only you will understand the proximate cause of color. Such type of understanding, referring such type of understanding, Buddha says, Chakongja Bajanadi, Rubeja Bajanadi. You should try to understand Chakong. I sensitivity. You should try to understand colors, visible objects. In the same way, ear, sensitivity in sound. Nose sensitivity in smell. Tongue sensitivity in taste. Body sensitivity in tangible objects. Mind or in Tama objects. In the same way, both are taught. So in this case, I transfer in sensitivity. Ear transparent sensitivity, nose transparent sensitivity, tongue transparent sensitivity, body transparent sensitivity, for my do heart base. Hmm? Then these are rupa or no? They are materialities. For that instead, to un you must try to understand these materialities. They are, they always rise as clubbers. You must try. To see this clubbers, you must analyze. Other than that only, you will understand ultimate truth. This is Ruba. Ruba, color, sound, smell, taste, tangible objects, and mark objects. This, uh, uh, this also usually color, sound, smell, taste, tangible objects, they rise as clubbers only. You should try to see this clubbers. Other than that only, you will understand this. Color, sound, smell, and taste, tangible objects. But the more objects there are two. One is materiality, the remaining materialities. So the remaining means eye sensitivity, ear sensitivity, nose sensitivity, tongue sensitivity, body sensitivity. These are five. Then color, sound, smell, taste, tangible objects. These are seven. What do you got that twelve? Why they begin to work? Tangible object is there are three, but we teach you why three. So altogether there are twelve. Except this twelve, the remaining sixteen materialities are called Tama object. Another is fifty two metal feathers. They are also called Tama object. For inside knowledge, AD1. In your days of consciousness, I call Manayana, mana, mind base. So, all together, if we combine these 12 ayranas, 12 phases, then all ultimate modality, modality, all finish. So, Buddha also taught in this way, but not only taught in this way. Another Buddha taught, another sentence. You must try to understand eye sensitivity. Ruben Janadi, you must try to understand color, visible objects. Then, you should try to understand patterns which arise dependent on both. 
you must also try to understand pandas. What are pandas? They are binding wire. Hmm? They are binding wire. They are binding wire. It binds two iron rods, three iron rods, four iron rods, five iron rods, ten iron rods, twenty, thirty, forty, hundred, more than hundred, etc. Is it true? In the same way, the patterns are also binding two persons, three persons, four persons, five persons, not to run away to each other. Is it true? Hmm? <laughs> What are pandas? How many pandas are there? One well, Mahathira told me, Buddha dot, there are 1,500 defilements, Buddha dot. But I think in my body, more than 1,500 defilements are present in me. <laughs> Is it true? <laughs> Oh, you have many attachments. You have attachment to wives, you have attachment to husbands, you have attachment to sons, daughters, many properties, dollars, etc. Huh? So you have many attachments in different of You have attachment house, you have attachment motor car. Huh? Is it true? So many attachments, more than 1,500. <laughs> So because of this reason that Mahathira told me he must accept 1,500 defilements because of Buddha's teaching, but he did inside his body more than 1,500 defilements are present. <laughs> Is it true? <laughs> <laughs> so many, 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 but as if that there are ten types of Sanyojanas, Pedas. Eh? What is Sanyojana? In one sutta, Venari Vesari Bhogda, eh? Mahagodika, I think so, but maybe Mahatu Aladas, they discuss about this Panda. Pogna, I think so, okay, sorry. What is Panda? There are two, two Pulaks. Hmm? Pulaks. Hmm? Here is one, here is one. This is also not Panda of this, this another one. Another is also not Panda of another one. What is Panda? There's one rock. They bind together these two oxes. This rock is called pedal. In the same way, there are two, pa two persons. This is also not pedal of him. This is also not pedal you. But there's one pedal. This is rock. Bind together, binding wire. Hmm? Bind together. This is called pedal. What is pedal? There are ten types. Number one is the pedda of sensual desire. That binding wire is very strong to cut. So because of this reason, if there is any artwork, hmm, because of this binding wire, many buildings cannot fall down easily. Is it true? Because binding wire is binding tightly each other. In the same way, because of this binding wire, you cannot go away, you cannot go to power easily. Is it true? <laughs> 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 oh, we will go, we will go, but maybe before 2005 or before 2006, etc. You may say, eh? but you cannot easily go because this binding wire is binding together. <laughs> so, this is one type of sensual desire, hmm? one pedal. <coughs> if you want <coughs> to design this sensual. Hmm? Sensual desire, I had to explain before. Huh? That sensual desire cannot arise alone. It arises with associated mental formations. Huh? Sister Susila explained huh? uh, mental formations rooted in greed. Huh? Greed. Huh? This, there may be not sometimes 18, sometimes 19, sometimes, sometimes, uh, sometimes 20, sometimes 21, 22, etc. Huh? Sometimes there may be 19, sometimes uh, 20, sometimes 20, 21, 22, etc. In this way they arise. So, when you are designing this sensual designer, this is one type of pattern, hmm? binding wire. You should try to design associate, together with associated material formations. But, 
this sensual desire arises as a cognitive process only. For example, <coughs> in this case, hmm? depending on eye face, depending on colors, pattern arises. Why? Because of proximate cause, is because of unwise attention. What is unwise attention? Oh, this is my husband, this is my wife, this is my son, this is my daughter. In this way, if they pay uh, attention, then this is called unwise attention. Based on this unwise attention, they have attachment to each other. Is it true? If you, if they can see, oh, this is not man, this is not woman, this is not son, this is not daughter, daughter. only ultimate mentality, materiality. This ultimate mentality and materiality, as soon as they arise, they pass away very, very quickly. So they are nature, they are dukkha, they are not that, no self. In this way, if you always understand, is it possible to marry? <laughs> <laughs> No possible. Finding <laughs> wire is useless. Finding eh? wire is useless. <laughs> because you always see there is no man, there is no woman. Eh? Only animal, mentality, mentality. They are as soon as they arise, they pass away very, very quickly. They are nature, dukkha, nada. Always, if you see, always means sadada vihara. For Rahas, they always dwell in this uh, dwelling place. What is their dwelling place? Five green guys, twelve ironers, eighteen elements, and depending on origination feathers, twelve depending on origination feathers. They always contemplate them as nature, Turka, Nanda. This is their permanent dwelling place. Because of this reason, no Rahas never marry. <laughs> <laughs> So, but if you see this is man, this is woman, this is problem, binding wire will arise. <laughs> because of this binding wire, you cannot go quickly anywhere. Is it true? Yeah, this is sensual desire. So, another pattern is wrong view. But in this case, Bhukta thought, not taking different uh, Conventional truth. Conventional truth means according to conventional truth, there is man, there is woman, it is true. But according to ultimate sense, there is no man, there is no woman. There, there are only ultimate mentality and materiality. Two types of truth. Eh? Conventional truth and ultimate truth. But in this Sota, <coughs> Mahasri Varna Sota, Buddha is actually refer ultimate truth only. So if you want to discern this, since you are designer, take a ultimate truth as object. How you should discern? First, you should try to discern. I do, I, I, I do, I, I sensitivity. Secondly, you should discern my do. When both doors impinge, uh, you should pay attention color as object. Hmm? A group of small particles color. When the color impinge both doors. Then I do cognitive process and my do cognitive process will arise. In those cognitive process, my do advancing consciousness and my do advancing consciousness and diseasing consciousness may decide. May decide means really they cannot decide because this is very weak. As if they are deciding uh, this color is beautiful, for example. Hmm? But real de decision is after the into community process. There will be rise boinga. After boinga, there may be mind do community process. Then another boinga, then mind do, then another boinga, then mind do. In this way, successfully, many mind do community process may be rise. Hmm? May rise. Among these mind do community process, fourth or fifth mind do community process, there is mind do advancing consciousness. That mind of advancing consciousness, the decision is very strong. Because of this reason, really they understand at that time, how they will understand. Oh, this is my son, this is my daughter, this is my husband, this is my wife, this is my dollar, huh? US dollar, etc. In this way, they will understand. At that time, only strong, powerful attachment or greed or sensual desire, sensual enjoyment will arise. 
This is very strong. So depending on I draw a color, this sensual desire arises. If this sensual desire arises, you should also try to understand there arises sensual desire in me. Okay? Such type of understanding Buddha is especially prefer. Then another factor is wrong view. Wrong view is for ultimate truth. The wrong view is sometimes very difficult for meditators. Because of this reason, we usually teach taking conventional truth as object. For example, there is maybe coal, coal stone. Hmm? You should pay addition goes down as goes down only. And then you should try to decide, especially in this case, my door and I door. Then you should pay addition this goal. As a goal only, you should pay addition. Then when this object in both doors, the color of this gold, the color of this gold stone, in which both doors at that time, I do community process and my do community process will rise successfully. At the dining, you may be addition, this is my goal. This goal, yesterday also my goal. Today also my goal. Tomorrow also my goal. Okay? Yesterday also my husband. Today also my husband. Tomorrow also my husband. Is it true? No, no. This is not your husband. If we say they will not accept. Is it true? <laughs> so this is, they are really a nature. Although they are really a nature, they do not see ultimate truth. Because of this reason, they think, yesterday also my goal, today also my goal, tomorrow also my goal. Yesterday also my husband, today also my husband, tomorrow also my husband. <coughs> they think this is permanent. Although they are impermanent, they think permanent. This is also one type of wrong view. But in this case, sometimes some meditators, they must try to discern ultimate truth, ultimate reality in this case, for the Israfari. So at that time, they should be a different color. Oh, this color is the other color. This color is very beautiful. In this way, if they decide, this is really impure, not beautiful. Although it is impure, not beautiful, they decide this is very beautiful. Okay? So because of this reason, wrong view arises. That wrong view always associated with associated mental formations, rooted in greed, hmm? attachment. Hmm? Okay? And then, then you should try to discern this wrong view. In the same way, the factor of rights and rituals, this is only outside. Buddha's dispensation. So we think, if we break this as a cow, we will escape from Rono River. If we break this as a dog, we will escape from the Rono River. In this way, they think. So such type of view is also called the pattern of rights in rituals. This is also right depending, depending on both those. Hmm? Depending on both places, I do in Iado. If you want to discern this, then you should try to discern color. Both do here, I do in my do, then you should be addition this color. Then, if we do in this practice, such like a dog or like a cow, then we, we will see such type of beautiful color in the future. In this way, if they grasp this strong view, they at the end also this cognitive process can arise. But for Buddhists, it is not easy to arise such type of right, such type of wrong view. Hmm? Then number four factor is the factor of desire to go on existing. Bhavaraga Sanyojana. Hmm? Bhavaraga Sanyojana means for some meditators, they always expecting for future life future existence, one of future existence. Hmm? So if they have certain attachment to for, for future existence, then this is also called Bhavaraga Sanyachana, one type of pattern. 
This is also one type of binding wire. If they have a strong desire for future existence, they cannot escape from round or river because if they have a strong attachment for future existence, they will accumulate wholesome and tamas or sometimes unwholesome tamas. Because of this wholesome karma or unwholesome karma, they, will, they must be accept one existence after that. Then again, if they accumulate wholesome and unwholesome tamas for another future existence, then there will be also another future existence. So in this way, as long as they expect future existence, they cannot escape from the realm of rebirth. So if you want to discern this expectation also, then you should try to discern both those. Hmm? And then you should bring addition kala. When kala invades both those, then you should try <coughs> in future life. Maybe I will I will gain such and such karma. Hmm? In this way, if you pay attention, then the pattern of desire to go on existing will be arise hmm? for future existing. So you should try to design this ultimate mentalities great, uh, rooted in greed, hmm? protect. There may be sometimes from text, sometimes maybe not from text. So there may be altogether eaters of materiality. Sometimes these patterns are associated with happy feeling, somanasa. Sometimes they may be associated with neutral feeling, upaka. So there are different types, altogether <coughs> eight types. These eight types of consciousness rooted in greed also you must discern, taking kala as object. In the same way, there may be the factor of conceit, mana. How the taking kala as object, conceit can arise? Taking different maybe objects according to conventional truth, there may be conceit, it is true. Hmm? There may arise conceit as, as true. Oh, my husband is better than her husband. <laughs> they may compare. Eh? My husband has many good qualities. Her husband is very dull person. Eh? They may contain others. They may have proud. Hmm? Is it true? <laughs> mm. So, according to conventional truth, conceit is very easy to discern. But here, according to ultimate truth, Buddha is uh, explaining this better. How you should practice? Number one, you should discern I do, eh? my do. Then you should pay attention a group of small particles color. <coughs> when this color impinge for those at the day, you should decide, oh, I can clearly discern this color. Small body gas color, I can see. They are meditating more than one month. Now they cannot see. Oh. You have a lot of conceit. Is it true? <laughs> Maybe a lot of proud. Hmm? So, other than this conceit, mana will arise. Other than this conceit, is also always arise with associated mental formations only, according to cognitive process. You will try to understand this conceit pattern, the pattern of conceit. Hmm? Another pattern is <coughs> the pattern of resentment. This is dosa group. Hmm? The pattern of resentment. Taking different conventional, according to different objects, according to conventional truth. You may have a lot of anger, this is the truth. Hmm? You may see. One hatred person other than Ingambi arise, it is very easy. Hmm? But here in this case, Buddha is explaining only referring to Kala. <coughs> Taking Kala as object, how there can be the pattern of resentment hmm? or anger? Here may be the Kala of X. That, that is your pure white cloth. Please try to take this home. A lot of anger may rise. Eh? Because you have a lot of attachment to a pure white cloth. But someone may produce dirtiness in, on this cloth with ink. Hmm? If you see someone do in this way, you have a lot of anger. So because of this, whenever you see this color, eh, you have you, the anger 
the pattern of presentment will arise. Okay. So if you want to understand this, the pattern of resentment, then you should try first you must try to design I do and my do. Then you should try to design that color. Hmm? That color which that is your white pure clothes. Hmm? Then when this color invents both those, then this pattern of resentment will arise together with associated model formations according to community process. And then, then you will understand. The another is pattern of MB. So then they translate jealousy. Hmm? How you should write this? Taking different objects according to conventional truth, it is very easy to understand. Hmm? Some, some, some person's modoga is very high class. Hmm? Your modoga is very low class. If you see someone's high class modoga, you don't want to see. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> this MB very strong. Hmm? But in this case, you must try to see color only. <coughs> Which color? Maybe others, eyeglass color is very cool. Your eyeglass color is not cool. Is it true? <laughs> so other than you don't want to see others' eyeglass color. So if they do not have such color, such good quality eyeglass, it will be very good. If they do not have such good quality motoka, it will be very good. In this way, if you pay attention, when the color impedes both those other than this MB, when associated mental information will arise. You should try to discern this. The another is the pattern of stringiness. Stringiness is you always hiding your property, not to see others, because you don't want to share others. But if they, someone takes your property, you have a lot of anger sometimes. Not because of, uh, because of attachment. Sometimes you don't want to share others this property. You don't let others use your property. <coughs> Such thing of attitude is called stinginess. But it is always associated One type of color, very beautiful color. If someone use, you don't like. Hmm? So that color also you should try to see. I know in my door, you should design. And then please design this color. When this color in baseball doors, you should pay attention. Oh, they use hmm? such and such quality, good quality color. Color will be spoiled in this way if you pay attention. This stinginess will arise. Hmm? This, this resentment in this stinginess, they are rooted in. Hmm? Dosa group. Another is the pattern of doubt. Maybe in this case, doubt is very easy for ordinary persons, but now when meditating, taking color as object, doubt is very rare. But we teach hmm, how to design. Please design, I do, my do together. Then please design color. A group of small body gas color, and then you should pay attention. Oh, this color is whether this color is the color of other or not. In this way, if you pay attention, then when this color is both those, both those, then the pattern of top will rise. Whether it is other color or not, only this. Mm. Nana is the pattern of ignorance. Ignorance is always associated with. Greed, hatred, and doubt, etc., all they are present. When you design greed or sexual desire, the ignorance also always present. It is very easy. Hmm? So all together they are ten feathers. Why Buddha teach to design these ten feathers? Sometimes they have sexual attachment, these feathers also. Because of preceding, Sensual desire, succeeding sensual desire increase. If you want to eat chicken, for example, if you have good taste, then next time also you have desire to eat chicken. Is it true? So because of <coughs> previous attachment or sensual desire, this succeeding sensual desire also rise. If the 
since your designers gain, gain the, uh, the rise, then they will increase the penalty. When they begin very strong, it is not easy to cut this pattern. It is not easy because of this reason. It is also not easy to go to power very quickly. <laughs> 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 because this desire is very strong day by day. Hmm? So, because of this reason, Buddha also has the intention to contemplate this unwholesome mass. Hmm? Ten pentas. Ten pentas and their associated mental formations which arise according to community process. These mental formations also you must contemplate as nature to cut another. They are also impermanent in this way. Hmm? Yeah. The, the another sentence. Hmm? Another sentence is Yatha cha obanasa sanyojanasa pahana hoti tincha pachanadi. He also understands how there comes to be the abandoning of these patterns. Abandoning of unreasoned uh, patterns. You should try to understand how you can abandon these patterns. You must contemplate them as nature, dukkha, anatta, etc. When you are practicing in this way, one day, when you, at the end of <coughs> your inside knowledge, but improving knowledge may arise when your inside knowledge becomes mature. If four part improving knowledge arise systematically, then this part improving knowledge will destroy the ten types of patterns stage by stage. And then, then you will understand, oh, they already have been abandoned, you will understand. Hmm? But another sentence is, Yatha ja pahi na sa sanyojana sa ayade no bado ho di tinja bhajana di. He also announced that how there comes to be the non future rising of abundant patterns. He had already destroyed these patterns. They will not arise in future. Never they will arise in future. You should also understand how they. How there comes to be the non future rising of abundant patterns. When you reach up to Arhampa knowledge stage, other than this Arhampa knowledge will destroy all remaining patterns completely without remainder. Other than they will never arise in future. So you should also understand how. The non, how the <coughs> non future rising of abundant desire rise. You should try to understand. And then, then you will completely understand this five sentences. Hmm? I will relate again. A hmm? big understand. He, he understand eye sensitivity. He understand colors. He understand the patterns which rise together on both. He also understand how they are going to be. The arising of unreason patterns because of ionis of Manasigara and wise attention. Hmm? He also understands how they are going to be the abandoning of reason patterns. He also understands they are going to be how they are going to be the non future rising of abundant patterns so altogether five senses. To be near or I sensitivity yeah? Kala, Buddha taught these six sentences. In the same way, to be near or ear based, eh? so, no, no sensitivity in eh? uh, smell, tongue sensitivity in eh? taste, body sensitivity in eh? tangible object, mind in eh? dhamma objects. These six pairs Buddha taught in the same way. So this is I will not session, I will not papa. But Buddha continue his tomato. In the Ijadawa Gaya Gaya Nubasi, we heard it. In the Ijadawa Dameso, the man Nubasi, we heard it. By Dawa Dameso, the man Nubasi, we heard it. In Jada, by Dawa Dameso, the man Nubasi, we heard it. Why you are contemplating the mark of this in this way? You should also contemplate internally. You should also contemplate externally. Eh? 
internally and externally both. Then semua dia ada mana bahas dua gaya semua yang berhari di Islam bahawa kata Other than you must try to do this and defend the origination. Past causes produce present effect by aggregates. Present causes will produce future by aggregates. Because of the rising of five causes, five aggregates arise. Because of the complete cessation of five, uh, five causes, because of the complete cessation of causes, five aggregates cease completely without remainder. Cause also nature. In fact, also five aggregates also nature. In this way, you must try. Slowly, when you are inside knowledge, begin make you and make you and if you. Uh, a day, but a hand, but an approaching knowledge, other than all the final mess will disappear completely. In this way, you must find to contemplate by way of in terms of 12 arena methods. Hmm? This is arena session. So, any question, please? Maybe short question will be necessary. <laughs> Long question is not good. So this is a short question. I think I heard you say that the eye sees only color. Yes. And I have thought that the eye sees color and shape. Shape is a last by After mm -hmm. I do cognitive process, there arise my do cognitive process. That my do cognitive process cognitive process shape as well as this is me, this is me, etc. So that that, that I do cognitive process and that's the only color. So the, uh, the eye does not, it's not the eye that picks up the shape. I do not, eh? mind do only, mind, after that I do cognitive process, many mind do cognitive process has this mind do cognitive process and that's that shape. Shape as well as which color, which color they can distinguish. This is red color, this is white color, etc. Senga, uh, how to practice Yoniso Maniskara when you're not discerning um, Kalapas? How, how, if you want it to. It is not easy. <laughs> <laughs> but although it is not easy, <coughs> but for, by imagination, or by learning knowledge, mm -hmm. you can contemplate them. Oh, Sabe, Sankara, Nietzsche, all are in <laughs> In this way, if you contemplate also, maybe mm -hmm. one type of Yoni Sammane Sankara, but this Yoni Sammane Sankara is based on learning knowledge, not based on Direct knowledge. All are nature, all are yoga, all are ananda. In this way, you should contemplate. All are asuka, also better. Kama Sagada also good. Hmm? They have their own karma. Each person has its own karma. His karma will produce for him. My karma will produce for me. Hmm? In this way, you should contemplate. It is also good. Um, in the Sutta, the Buddha recommends that we um, contemplate the arising of the Samyojana mm -hmm. as they are. And this is what I didn't understand. When you say arising, do you mean the manifestation of existing fetter Samyojana or the creation of new Samyojana? In other words, is it the arising? You know what? I'm, I'm saying it's the same. Let me, let me just want to say this, please memorize. Hmm? If we could understand how there comes to be the rising of a uh, rising fetters. They are not yet rising, but suddenly it rises. You should try to understand this. But how you should practice, and then that only now you should try to descend to this I do, my do. Then please try to descend color. With color in which both those you should be addition, this is very beautiful. In this way, the feather of sexual desire, etc., will arise. Other than you will understand 
how they are going to be the rising of unreason per dust. You, you face to face, you will understand at that time only. But yesterday, that uh, uh, sensual desire arises. Today, you contemplate, it's not easy to understand. So quickly, you must try to listen. The, um, the sense bases themselves are um, comma produced materiality. And so, the existence of the sense base is itself a manifestation of the samyojana. Correct? No, no, no. Then I'm not this is the proximate cause for samyojana only. Only the part. In this way, Buddha taught. In this Sotam Buddha, Chakongja Bajanadi, Rubeja Bajanadi. In this way, Buddha taught. So, depending on both Aido and Kala, the Pedda of sensual desire, etc., rise. You should try to understand this sensual Pedda also in this way, Buddha teaches. Okay, okay. Um, Bhante, you talked about, uh, um, I think I'm missing something basic, but when you talk about accumulation of uh, wholesome kama in past lives leading to clinging, uh, craving in this life, you were talking about color, but I've heard it in response to other things too. I don't quite understand that. Why, why is it the accumulation of unwholesome kama in past lives? Unwholesome? Uh, yeah, I, I, I don't understand why it's wholesome kama, due to Maybe. the accumulation of wholesome kama. How Buddha, according to Buddha's teaching, hmm? in our human life, in each person there are five aggregates. Hmm? Among these five aggregates, there are also karma produced five aggregates also. Hmm? These five aggregates are produced by karma. This karma is wholesome karma only, not a wholesome karma. But this wholesome karma, while they are accumulating this wholesome karma, they based on Ignorance, craving, and clinging, they accumulate this wholesome karma. How? Oh. In future existence, they want to be a man or they want to be a woman. They have strong desire to be a woman. They have strong desire to be a man. Such type of attitude is called ignorance, craving, and clinging. With such attention, they accumulate wholesome karma such as offerings, observing, purification, observing morality, hmm? mm. and they, they accumulate some time and we must not hold some time. When they are practicing in this way, oh, if you can exist, if I began such and such woman, if I began such and such man, it will be very good. In this way, with such intention, if you accumulate this whole time, they are called Sankara formations. But they are nature and Bambini as soon as they, as they pass away. But they left behind the coming force. That coming force follow your mentality, material process. That's a late tendency. This coming force, whenever it gets any opportunity or when it becomes mature, it produces this fact in this. Mm -hmm. When you talk about craving for future existence, would that also mean craving for to be existing tomorrow? Or no, 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 future existence. Future births? Mm. Oh. Future rebirth. Mm. Sabasadana, Sabasadana, Pajima, 
Atma and Sangha in the way of practice. No much problem. But they have no confidence to themselves. <laughs> uh, it is impossible or not to attain jhana. They have suspect to their uh, their quality. Hmm? So it is not necessary. If they can practice according to the service like my father, it is very easy. The another is mindfulness. It is always necessary. Another is effort. Effort and concentration must be balanced at that time. The enlightenment factor of effort and the enlightenment factor of concentration both must be balanced. When concentration is very strong, the enlightenment factor of uh, energy or effort is less. At the time, slowly, laziness will visit to your mind or you, uh, you will be followed down into Buddha. Because effort is not necessary. The effort is very less, very weak. But when your effort is very strong, the concentration is very weak. At that day, because of effort, excessive effort, the restless mind will rise. So they are, you should try to make sure to make balance the effort and concentration. Another is Sada, confidence in Western faculty. In this case, Western faculty is penetrating the Anabana Pribhaga Nimida counterpart side. Confidence is you should have enough confidence, the way of practice. Or is it possible when watching the breath, how you can attain China? It is impossible. In, in this way, if you accept confidence, is very less. Your confidence center is very weak. When confidence is very weak, then you cannot develop further your concentration. You cannot, your concentration cannot develop further. So at the end, confidence and Western faculty also must be balanced. Energy or worry and concentration also must be balanced. But sati is always necessary. So if sati is Sati, go away. You do not remember your meditation object. The, the remaining six enlightenment factors will be go away together, together with your Sati. <laughs> so these seven enlightenment factors are necessary when you are practicing Anapana. In the same way, when you are practicing four elements meditation, you must always Remember these four elements of that. This is very important. When you always remember your four elements of that, then enlightenment factor of investigation of the map will be will work in this function. What is in this function? To penetrate four elements characteristics clearly. Because you are always remembering this characteristic. When you remember this characteristic, your wisdom faculty will penetrate this faculties again and again. If you remember again and again, wisdom faculty also penetrate again and again these four elements characteristic. When you are when mindfulness and wisdom faculty are working together at the day, strong effort energy is necessary. You should try to concentrate on this for elements object only, not any other object. To concentrate on the four elements objects, your effort must be support your mind, not to run away from these four elements object. This is a strong powerful supporting cause. And then uh, if you lazy, oh, yes, no, improve. I mean, trying four elements meditation for a long time. Yes, no, improve, then you relax. <laughs> <laughs> then, if effort is very weak, then concentration cannot develop. In the same way, mindfulness also will be weak. Western faculty also will become weak. So, these seven are very important. Hmm? Especially when you are practicing four elements meditation. At that time, such powerful mind mindfulness 
So from our food was done for Galagi, which penetrate the co-animus paradigmatic. So from powerful effort to penetrate to understand these four elements as they really are. To concentrate the, on the four elements object only. These four are very important. If these four elements factors are working together, then when concentration develops further, PD joint will arise. First, the tranquility of mind will arise. Equanimity of mind will arise. Will arise means other than only they arise. I do not mean. I do not mean other than only they arise. I do not mean. But they are always present. But when concentration do not yet develop further, other than they are behind. They are not predominant. When concentration develops further, other than only joy, tranquility, eh? equanimity, these three enlightenment factors become predominant factors. So, what you are bringing is saying, four elements of meditation also, these seven enlightenment factors are very important. This is Samatha meditation stage. Hmm? When you are practicing with Vasana, other than also, these seven enlightenment factors are very important. To understand this, I will explain with Dhamma Vichya. What is Dhamma Vichya? When you are practicing Samatha or Vipassana, you should try to understand what are whole sentiments, what are whole sentiments, or what are kusala tamas, what are kusala tamas. If you do not understand, you cannot develop whole sentiments and you cannot avoid a whole sentiments because you do not understand. So as a Buddhist, what is wholesome, what is unwholesome, what is kusala, what is akusala? To understand this very important. If you do not understand, sometimes one something is maybe whole sentiment. But if you do not know this is whole sentiment, then you may do not, you do not interest to do. Sometimes, if you do not know this is a whole Swantama, you may be always associated with this a whole Swantama because you do not know this is a whole Swantama. So as a Buddhist, to understand this is whole Swantama, this is a whole Swantama, this is very important. How you should try? First, you must try to understand by learning knowledge under the guidance of skillful teacher. This is Hosantama, this is Hosantama, etc. Hmm? Now, Sister Sudila, yeah, with Prochet and she explained what are Hosantama, what are Hosantama. This is very important. If you understand by learning knowledge, this is Hosantama, this is Hosantama. Okay? You should try to understand. When you are direct in set knowledge, direct knowledge. How you should try, I will explain later. And then another is blameless, blameable tabas. What are blameless tabas? What are blameable tabas? They, they are also saying they are. A whole select tabas, a whole son tabas are blameable tabas. Whole son tabas are blameless tabas. They are also saying. Another is the mass that that should be cultivated and the damas that should not be cultivated. Which damas you should be associated? Which damas you should not be associated? You should try to understand. Hmm? So a whole son damas are you should not be you should not associate that with a whole son damas. You should not cultivate a whole son damas. You should be you should cultivate whole sentiments only. So, you should try to understand what is whole sentiment, what is a whole sentiment. Then, another bear is superior and inferior domains. What are superior domains? What are inferior domains? Whole sentiments are superior domains, and whole sentiments are inferior domains. Then, another bear is 
pure in evil dhammas. Wholesome dhammas are pure, <coughs> pure dhammas. And wholesome dhammas are evil dhammas. <coughs> you should also try to understand. So how you should try to understand? In Nivarana session, I had to explain how to do some five hindrances. Hmm? In the same way, for example, depending on eye base and mind base, mind too, if there are any object, taking any color object, any unwholesome to must arise, you should try to design in this way only. Last night also I had to be explained. Eh? First you should try to desire uh, I do. Then secondly you should desire uh, my do. You should try to see beautiful colors such as gold color, flower color, etc. When these colors invent for those, you should decide oh they are very beautiful. If you pay attention in this way, a whole sort of mass will arise in your impulsion to one my moment. And then, then you can discern this and hold on to us. In the same way, please discern I do and my do. There may be one person you do, you hate. Hmm? When this object invents both those, this object of color, that person's color, invents both those, and then, then you decide, oh, I hate too much. Hmm. In this way, if you decide, then those group and hold on to us will rise. In this way, Depending on your unwise attention, a whole sort of mass will arise. What is unwise attention? I already explained. Hmm? All the mass are impermanent, but you said they are permanent. Oh, yesterday also my son, today also my son, tomorrow also will be my son. Yesterday also my father, today also my father, today after tomorrow also will be my father. In this way, always you accept. This is you are accepting impermanent as permanent. Is it true? In the same way, they are always <coughs> oppressed by rising in passing with these objects. If you get some for animals systematically, you can see glabas. When you analyze these glabas, you can understand ultimate materiality. These ultimate very materialities are as soon as they rise, they quickly, very quickly pass, passing away. There is no time to tell this is father, this is mother, this is I, this is he, this is she, in this way. They are very, very quickly rising and passing away. But you think this is father, this is mother, etc. Then this is, you are taking empowerment as permanent. In the same way, they are always oppressed by rising and passing way. So they are suffering to God. But you may have, you may accept this is to God. And this is Sukha. Why? If you see your sons and daughters, oh, very happy. If you do not see, then I'm happy. <laughs> <laughs> so you are accepting Dukkha as Sukha. Then, Another as other, no self as self. This is me, this is he, this is she, this is son, this is daughter, etc. In this way, you accept. Behind this perception, there may be some type of other. Some type of other, especially outside Buddha's dispensation, many people they accept soul hmm? or self. Hmm? But in Buddha's teaching, there is no soul or no self. Who control our mind or who control our body? So, you show another, this Thomas is another, but you accept as other. This is a wise addition. These Thomas are impure, but you accept pure. This is also a wise addition. To be there on this always addition, a whole sort of must are always present into your mind. But if you can change their nature, environment, they are dukkha, suffering, they are ananda, non-self, they are in viva, asuga. In this way, if you can pay attention to these objects, then whole sort of must will be 
present. Among these four Santamas, seven enlightenment factors are usually always present. Usually, may be the joint, sometimes may be present, sometimes may be not present only. Other remaining six enlightenment factors are always present. If you can contemplate this Adhima Medalati, Adhima Medalati as Nicha Toka Ananda, then these seven enlightenment factors will be usually always present. So, when you are uh, practicing Vipassana, these seven enlightenment factors are more and more important. Mm. So, what are seven? Now, I had been in brief explained, but how about that is? There have been enlightenment factor of mindfulness in him. He should try to understand there is enlightenment factor of mindfulness in me. There have been no enlightenment factor of mindfulness in him. He should try to understand there is no enlightenment factor of mindfulness in me. So if mindfulness or enlightenment is present, you should try to understand, oh, this is present in me. But if it is not present, then you should try also to understand it is not present in me. If you do not understand, how there can be improved? So, when you are practicing Anabana, for example, or when you are practicing Vipassana, if you do not remember, Unlimited mentality, unlimited mentality, and their causes as nature took another. If you do not remember, you are remembering your house, <laughs> your work, or your money, etc. Then, how this enlightenment factors will develop? Okay? So, because of this reason, this, if mindfulness is not present in, in you, you should try to understand mindfulness is not present in you. Because you do not remember always this Adhimi mentality, Adhimi mentality, they are causes as Nicha Toka Nata. Then again, Ya Tancha Anubba Nasa Sadi Sambu Jengasa Ubba Daho Di Tensha Bhaja Nadi. He also understood how they are going to be the rising of a reason, let me find out of mindfulness. When you contemplate these formations as nature to another again and again, you are always remembering this impermanent suffering and no self nature of these formations. And then, then you, you can understand all. Oh, there comes to be in me the rising of a reason, enlightenment factor of mindfulness. Because at that time, mindfulness, enlightenment factor of mindfulness always present in you. Because you are always contemplating. At that time, the other, the remaining seven enlightenment factors also will be present in you. Why? The enlightenment factor of investigation automa will realize this is these formations are nature or dukkha or data. At the day, to understand this nature, nature, dukkha, nature, and the nature of these formations, strong, powerful, supporting God's energy is necessary. Energy is supporting not to go away from this object. Hmm? Then, at the day, strong, powerful concentration will also so, will be concomitant. How? When you are contemplating these formations as nature or dukkha or another, at the dying, your concentration will be concentrated on that nature, nature, dukkha, nature, another nature. Your concentration will not fall away because such a powerful energy is supporting to your concentration, not to fall away from this object. When you are concentrating on that, this is called jhana, vipassana concentration. They translate this concentration, momentary concentration. Why momentary? The object formations are rising and passing away. You are following these objects again, 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 again. Because object is not stable, momentary. The subject concentration also cannot be stable, momentary only. Do you understand? Because they are following. But from this environment or suffering or non self nature, Mind do not go away. And then the concentration also very powerful. 
When concentration becomes powerful, the enlightenment factor of joy, the enlightenment factor of tranquility, the enlightenment factor of equanimity also will increase. So when these seven enlightenment factors are working together, well, you are contemplating formations as nature to Kananda. One day, your insight will become mature. At the end of your insight knowledge, but improving knowledge will arise, realizing the but improving knowledge will realize nibbana. Other than supramundane, seven enlightenment factors are present. What are supramundane seven enlightenment factors? Mindfulness of the enlightenment factor of mindfulness always remember nibbana object. The enlightenment factor of investigation of dhamma will realize nibbana will penetrate Nibbana object. The enlightenment factor of effort will try to realize Nibbana at the time. Then the enlightenment factor of PD rapture will arise because when he realized that Nibbana, the strong powerful joy will arise in him. Then at the time, the enlightenment factor of tranquility also will be present. Because the object Nibbana is very peaceful. Taking this peaceful Nibbana object, mind became very quiet, very cool, very cool down tranquility. And then the equanimous mind also will arise. Equanimous mind means equanimity is other than equanimity control your mind not to fall down, big fall or dangerous pitfall or dangerous traps. What are dangerous traps? Five hindrances or defilements. Hmm? Not to fall down into the dangerous trap tra defilements area. Hmm? So, and that the equanimous might control this problem. Hmm? Not to fall down. So all seven enlightenment factors are taking Nibbana as object only, not formations. So, because of this reason, if they are the enlightenment factor of mindfulness is always present in you. You should try to understand the enlightenment factor of mindfulness is always present in me. When it arises, then you should also try to understand all. Because of this reason, this reason means when you are contemplating these formations as an to took another. Because of, this is called wise attention. Because of this wise attention, this enlightenment factor of mindfulness is rising. Then, when it will be perfect, one day you will attain hardship. Every day, this enlightenment factor of mindfulness will be perfect, not necessary to increase more. In the same way, the other seven enlightenment factors are also the same. Okay. Today, let us start here. Okay. Any question? Earlier you were saying that the five controlling faculties, one was sada and then the other one was wisdom, with relation to anapana. What is the wisdom there? Penetrating anapana, nimeda, or maybe for ordinary person, penetrating the anapana. Somebody need us, they say, oh, I do not see the breath, I do not know the breath, there is no breath. The wisdom faculty is weak, Pinya is very weak. When concentration develops further, they will penetrate here new meter, different types of new meter. Penetrate, penetrating this different types of new meter is called wisdom. But penetrating it by seeing the elements, the kalapas, the characteristics of the kalapas? Um, in this case, you are now practicing samatha. In samatha states, kalapas are not necessary. Only just penetrate new meter. This is, uh, you are penetrating. Why we can say penetrate? Before meditating, you never see this nimitta. Now you are practicing systematically, and that only you can see this nimitta. Because of this reason, we can say you penetrate this nimitta. This is wisdom faculty. And you should keep that balance with confidence? Yes, confidence. What, if, why would you need confidence at that time if you're seeing it for yourself? For example, here nimitta is coming. Oh, 
it is impossible to any child. <coughs> you have no cohesion, then it will go away. <laughs> Mm, okay. Um, Sayadaw, when you're talking about um, uh, the faculty of investigation mm. and clear comprehension of the breath, mm. clear comprehension, you said uh, you know that the breath is long, short, subtle, gross. Are there any other things you're supposed to know besides those four? Maybe in some other case, it is uh, about this only. Okay. But when you are practicing with Basana, you must do some four limits in your breath. You only see breath is nothing but a group of kalapas, small body gas. Other than you should analyze this small body gas. Then you only see in each body gas there are nine types of materiality such as earth element, water element, fire element, wind element, color, odor, flavor, nutritive, acid, and breathing so This life. Other than <coughs> you must try to analyze these nine types of ultimate materiality. And then again, you must contemplate them as nature to Kananda because they are as well as they rise, they pass away very, very quickly. So they are nature to Kananda. At that day, Kriya Kumri Hinshin, eh? the enlightenment factor of investigation is same. The enlightenment factor of investigation, what investigate? Enlightenment factor of investigation, investigate, this is nature, this is to this is Nanda. Kriya Gumri, he said, understand, this is nature, this is yoga, this is nata. They are safe. Going back to the, if you're doing samatha practice, though, um, since you can't have your attention on two things at the same time, um, and it seems to me there are two objects in samatha. There's the touch point, where the breath goes over the touch point, and then there's the qualities like long, short. And I'm wondering if um, there's a balancing act there that can easily get out of balance where you're not, you can't pay attention to both at the same time, so you're just going quickly from one to the other. It should be easy. That shouldn't be a problem. It could, that my, couldn't. My meaning is that first, as soon as you sit, you should fix one point. Then you should breathe. You should be a decent breath. When you are paying addition breath, <coughs> breath is going through this one point. Going in, going out. Hmm? Through this point. Other than you should not emphasize point. You should emphasize only breath. Only one object. Mm -hmm. okay. hmm. But when we fix point, mm -hmm. not to follow inside, outside only. If you follow inside and outside, your mind is going inside, going outside. Then if you you are doing in this way, then concentration cannot develop further. Mm. Because of this reason, we fix one point only. But after fixing one point, you should not emphasize point. You should emphasize only breath on the point only. Mm. And then, if you forget point, touching point, no problem. If you do not follow inside outside, it is okay. Mm. But <coughs> when your concentration develops further, Naturally, you will not see your body. You, you will not see your nose, your face, your body. Only just breath and mind. But that day, it is not necessary to search for touching point. Only just stay with that breath only. Mm -hmm. mm. And then, what is the antidote to lack of confidence when you get to a certain point and the memory arises? This is where I lose it, and you. Try not to panic, but you just have the memory. This is where I get off track in the past. Mm. What's the antidote to that? And I'm wondering if that's the cause of uh, falling concentration. Mm, please, please, I do not, uh, I do not understand your question. I'll give you an example. Let's mm. say that we, if uh, you have a memory that when you get to subtle breath, mm. that's where you get off track, and that's where you lose concentration. The memory alone can cause lack of confidence. Even if you're not saying, oh, I'm not going to be able to do it. Just remembering that in the past, that's also very painful. She will also not remember to you. 
that the ego sensation for them. Because you do not remember the breath. Your mind is wandering to some objects. To the memory. Okay. Memories. I see. Monte, um, I'm more than sure that I was following what you were saying when you were talking about the uh, arising of um, of pity in the body, being that that uh, uh, I, I can't remember what kind of but um, certain wait. a wave of kalapas go through the body. Is that what you were saying? Something no, no. Like <coughs> When PT excess concentration states, mm-hmm. but PT is PD is very strong. That strong PT is some material that they inform me, like they are above weight, going in this way, in this way, in this way. They yeah. feel like that only. Mm-hmm. This is excess concentration states. That's that wasn't what I was remembering. I'm I, I'm, I might be remembering it wrong. It was like. The actual feeling of of the PT, you said, was produced by mind-produced kalapas that flood the body, that are temperature and um, uh, the th- three, not not water. But I I wasn't sure that I was understanding. Tangible object. Tangible, Tangible object is. If you touch, you can feel only hardness, roughness, heaviness, or right. softness, weakness, exactly. lightness. You can feel heat and cold. You can feel sabote and boshe. These three are tangible objects. When these three tangible objects impinge on your body sensitivity, mm-hmm. body sensitivity is throughout the body, mm-hmm. everywhere. They might produce clubbats also everywhere throughout the body. In those mind produced clubbats, there are three tangible objects. They impinge on your body sensitivity. Other than such type of feeling appear. And, and this is what's produced in jhana? Excess concentration also can produce, jhana mm-hmm. also can produce. But at the excess concentration stage, their impinging is very strong. Right. <laughs> because mm-hmm. of this strong. Mm-hmm. Powerful impingement. You feel like you are above on the fla- uh, on the waves only. Right. But in excess in, uh, in the uh, absorption concentration states, they are very subtle. When you are put on the above on the cotton wool, if you put wine, wine will be spread mm-hmm. throughout the cotton wool gently. In this way, other than very gentle, but very peaceful. But it's these mind-produced kalapas that flood the body. Yes, the no, mind, no, mind do not spread, PD do not spread. PD together with hmm? consciousness, that consciousness is absorption consciousness. Mm-hmm. That absorption consciousness associated with PD, that consciousness produces kalapas uh, throughout the body. Thank you. Okay, okay. Sorry. Um, so I, I have a question about uh, the um, kalapas that when they ar- they arise and pass away very quickly. When they arise, where do they arise from? And when they pass away, where do they go? Uh, there's there's a very famous scientist um, who who said that. Um, Matter can neither be created nor destroyed. It can only change form, or it can only change from one form to another. But it doesn't ever arise or pass away. It doesn't. Be, it's never created or destroyed. So, what are they arising from? A previous kalapa is giving birth to a new one, on and on. Like where? And then where do they go? Maybe yeah, one can tell like. Mm. Hmm? One also finish, exhausted. Hmm? Wood also exhausted, finish. Hmm. Then fire also cease. This fire go to fire. 
Das ist bei mir gut, du Bär. Ja. Uh, it disappears. Hmm? <laughs> <laughs> yes, it disappears only. Dissolution only. Say this, they do not see a dimmed truth. Mm -hmm. Before a dimmed truth stage, they can see and understand. But they do not understand a dimmed truth. Because within Kalaba, one Kalaba, they are at least eight times of materiality. They are as soon as they rise, they pass away. They, again, they rise. Why they rise? If you want to understand, you must write this to bring the origin, you see. <laughs> Other than you will understand, oh, this, there are four types of cause. One, calabas are produced by previous karma. Some calabas, uh, some calabas are produced by previous karma. Some calabas are produced by your mind. If you want to understand, mind produced calaba, please do like that. You can do. Is it true? Mm -hmm. Can you do? This is mind produced calabas uh, in this hand. But before you are doing also they are calabas. So they, they are mixed together like uh, different oh what call different different powders. What call? Different dust are mixed together. Hmm? In the same way here are four different types of course. Kama produce material calabas are also here. Mind produced calabas are also here. In each calabas there is a of fire element. That fire element is called Tejo, that Tejo is called temperature. That temperature also can produce new generation. So temperature produce clubbers are also here. Then you are always eating <laughs> edible food. That edible food also can produce many generations. How they operate? You should design four elements in your undigested food, new eating food. You can see only food is nothing but a group of calabas. In these calabas, there is nutritive essence. When digestive fire support that nutritive essence, then that nutritive essence produces many generations throughout the body. So that nutritive essence produces material also present here, four types of cause. Number one, karma. Number two, mind consciousness. Number three, temperature. Number four, nutritive assets. These four types of cause are still present. They will be rise again. As soon as they rise, they will be passed with the solution. Why? Cause is impermanent in nature. How the effect can be nature permanent? Cause impermanent means you may understand here. Now you. Your mind is listening. Please see behind. Please, please see behind. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Now you are <laughs> listening my tomato. You hear. Yeah. I do cognitive process, right? Then if you pay attention another, you see. I do cognitive. Yeah, do. From here, yeah, do, do. I do. Mind is always changing. If mind is not changing, Inga Basan will be, the whole life will be English. <laughs> attachment Basan, the whole life will be attachment only. <laughs> so mind is also changing. Because of this, they all are impermanent. But scientists, they do not understand Adimit materiality, especially how the food, hmm? edible food, produce new generation, they do not understand. How temperature produce in each club? How temperature produce new generation? They do not understand. How nutritive essence produce new generation? They do not understand. Why? Why naked and they cannot see the nutritive essence? Why naked and they do not understand temperature? This is the object of Western I own. Okay? <laughs> Two questions. Um, one, going back to piti and sukha, is um, piti more a physical form of happiness and sukha more a feeling, uh, emotional almost? I mean, could you categorize it that yes, way? Yeah. Oftentimes piti has a physical. No physical, this is also mental, mm -hmm. but usually piti is associated with sukha. 
But sukha is not always associated with PD. Because in five jhana, in second jhana, PD and sukha, they are associated to each other. But in third jhana, there is no PD, only sukha. So feeling, sukha is feeling. PD is one material factor. But PD and sukha, what is the difference? PD is only like the object only. When you like one object, this object, oh, this is good or not, eh? you are sukha feel only. If it is good, then as a good sukha feels only. So, because of this, is it, if you like this, and then this, this is PD only. You have uh, joint, hmm? or they translate rapture. What is true? I, what translation will be true? I don't know. Hmm? PD is only. Oh, what I forget. Hmm? Only just like a or maybe what? Hmm? Mu music. What? Mm -hmm. hmm? Music. What else? Maybe one word I forget. Hmm? So just only like a only. Mm -hmm. But usually PD is cross. Then sukha. Sukha is more quiet feeling. Mm. Thank you. May I, may I ask my second question about this Bhavanga Mindur business? Sometimes I've heard you talk about uh, thinking about this metaphorically. You say as metaphor only. And sometimes you say, look there and see that. Yes, so I see, get, see I get also metaphorically this Bhavanga. Maybe cause and effect only. Now you see Bhavanga Mindur like mirror. This is only effect. A fact means this mirror is produced by you, you are going up mind or own, going up mind consciousness. You are going up mind consciousness can produce, mind produce calabas. Among these calabas, there is color. That color is transparent and bright. Among these calabas, there is digital. That digital also produces new generation. Among these generations, there is also color. That color also transparent and bright. Combination of these two types of calabas are uh, pure, luminous, transparent mind. -o. This is metaphorically, the Buddha says mind only. Real Bhavanga mind has no color. Mind is mind only. Mind consciousness, mind only. Now you are listening, mind to mind. Do you hear? Uh, ear do cognitive process arise. That cognitive process has any color in the same way. But here you see color. That color is the effect of your going up my consciousness. You are, you are going up my consciousness produce this color transparent bright element, luminous element. So because of this, this is also metaphorically called mind. Okay? Could you explain further um, the concept of, you said that you have mental mind formations and karmic formations, mm. but don't, uh, they both occur in the mind, don't they? I mean, other than external karma that impacts on you, but aren't they both in the mind? What, what, what do you Car mean? Karma formations hmm. and mental formations. You said they were two separate. That they were acting in... Maybe in mental formations is very useful. Huh? Maybe consciousness and mental factors put together. They are called sometimes mental formations. Consciousness and... Consciousness and mental factors. In every mind moment, yes, consciousness and mental factors, they are always associated. <coughs> in some mind moment, at least eight types of mental formations. Hmm? In some mind moments, there may be 34, etc. They are mental formations. Coming force is especially referring in previous life, you had accumulated wholesome commas to produce this fat aggregates. We usually use this coming force. Pollution formations. Use. That comes, folks, mm -hmm. sometimes they use pollution informations. 
because among this police coming for uh, police information police in China is predominant factor. So because of this reason, while producing it is a fact. Police in China is very important factor. Depending on that China Raza is different. When police is very strong, Raza is very powerful. When police is very weak, Raza is very weak. So volition information also sometimes we use. This is previous comma expression. There are also many formations in previous life. But they, when they arise, they also nature. They pass away very quickly. But they left behind some type of energy. That energy is we call coming force. That coming force is how how it is like, we cannot say exactly. This is only coming force only, but when you practice the very origination, and then you will understand when you are direct inside knowledge. Why do you not discern the enlightenment factors in each mind moment like you do uh, some of the uh, 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 other factors that you mentioned in the last few days. Maybe this is when you are discerning a different mentality, you must discern only. Ah, <coughs> okay. Now you are practicing samatha. When you are practicing samatha, it is not necessary to discern this enlightenment factors. Your responsibility is to discern facts and factors only. Because your stage is samatha stage only. When you are going to vipassana, when you are practicing vipassana, other than you must discern ultimate modality. Other than among these ultimate modalities, there are seven enlightenment factors are usually always present. And that you are in and you are inside knowledge. Oh and at that point you discern yes. Okay. Yes, yes. Okay, to let us stop. Dame Bunya, Dame Bunya, Asawakaya, Asawakaya, Hodu, Wahamotu, Idame Bunya, Idame Bunya, Ibanasa, Ibanasa, Pachio, Pachio, Hodu, Hodu, Idame Bunya, Idame Bunya, Sava Sadana, Sava Sadana, Pajima. Pajema, Tisabe, Tisabe, Vesama, Vesama, Punya Bagan, Punya Bagan, Labandu, Labandu, Sadu, Sadu, Sadu.